Hey, it's your Enjoy Work expert, Aisha Cogborn from CoachAisha.com, and I am coming to you from Los Angeles, California, where I am in four days of marketing training with uh, James Malinchek, and you may have seen him on uh, the ABC show Secret Millionaire, absolute marketing genius. And I tell you, one of the things that I am taking away from just this first day that I want to just take a couple of minutes and share with you this week is that uh, there are a lot of us who have a, a passion for what it is that we're doing. We know that we're called to serve people through business, through ministry, through our books, through speaking, you know, whatever it is. And we do these wonderful things, have these wonderful programs or products or whatever it is. And we have been given the bill of goods that if you just follow your passion, that everything will be all right. And you know, that's a noble thought, but it just doesn't always work out that way. And one of the things that I really want to, to share with you this week is how important it is to market. Now, I know that there are a lot of you, a lot of us, who aren't driven by money. And a lot of the marketing training that we hear is always about make money, make money, make money. You do this so you can make money. And money is good. <laughs> money is good because I tell you, when you're trying to figure out how you're gonna pay your mortgage, it's really hard to concentrate on all the people that you're trying to serve. But one of the other things that is so important, if it's not even about money for you, is thinking about all of the people who you want to reach and who you want to serve. And so marketing isn't necessarily about making millions, but it may be about you having the ability to serve millions. And so if you have been really shrinking away from telling people about what it is that you do, from offering your products and services to those who can benefit from them, then this week I just really want to encourage you to get over it. <laughs> Plain and simple, get over it. Because there are people who need what you have to offer. They need to hear your message of hope. They need to be inspired by the things that you've overcome. They need the services that you offer that are going to make their lives easier and better. But if you don't tell them, they will never know about it. And don't think that you can just tell somebody something one time and that automatically, oh, well, I told them so, you know, they'll know and they'll come now, right? Well, we're busy. How many times does someone tell you about something one time and you drop everything and just go out and act on it? You see that email come through your inbox with the other 500 unread messages and you just say, that's it, I'm going to do that right now. I'm signing up for that workshop. I'm signing up for that coaching group. I'm going to do it right now. No, we have to be told something over and over and over again. So you may be sharing your message with people and or sending out your newsletter or your messages and yes, you may get on some folks' nerves. They may say, well, why is, why is he sending all this stuff all of a sudden? And hey, I'm really getting tired of this. I'm gonna opt out of that email list. And if they do, you know what? That's fine. Because those are the people who didn't really need to hear your message. But for those who need it, for those who need to be blessed by what it is that you're bringing, don't be timid. Don't be afraid to share it. And that's all marketing is. Going after the people who need to benefit from what it is that you have to offer. And if you don't do that, you're doing them a disservice. And that is contrary to everything that, that you've gone in business to do, or that you've started that ministry for, or that you've written that book for. You didn't write that book for it to sit in your garage. You wrote it so that people could read it, so that they could benefit from your knowledge, benefit from your wisdom, benefit from your experiences. But if you don't tell people that the book exists and what they can benefit, how they can benefit from it, then you're not accomplishing your purpose. So this week, I want to just encourage you to change your mindset when it comes to marketing. Don't feel like, oh, well, I don't want to sell. I don't want, get over it. Get over it. If you don't tell people 
how you can serve them, they will never know and you will never accomplish your purpose. So change your mindset. That's where it all begins. And when you change your mindset, then you can begin to change the world. So this is your Enjoy Work expert, Aisha Cogborn, and I look forward to talking to you next week. Again, make sure that you connect with us on Facebook, on Twitter. If you are not in our Facebook group, but I don't want a real job, make sure you join because there are good things going on there. And I tell you, if you've got some reservations or fear around certain areas uh, with, with your business or using your talents or whatever it is that you're doing, that is a great place to just get built up and encouraged and to be able to share those things that maybe the people that are in your circle on a day-to-day -day basis just don't understand. So make sure you join us and uh, I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.